Welcome back. Uh, in this video, I'll be going through the axle peg to the mini train project. Uh, I've got an inventor opened up. I'm going to click New, Part, hit Create. I'm going to start a new sketch. Uh, this one is very similar to some of our other pieces, whereas I'm going to draw half of it and then simply revolve it. I'm going to start with the line tool. The overall length of this entire piece is my 1 inch plus my 0.125. So I'm going to start by creating a line that goes 1.125, right? This is a quarter inch bolt, right? It's a quarter inch all the way around. So I'm only drawing half of it. With that said, this is going to be a 0.125. And then it comes up. The actual bolt itself is only one inch. And it goes to the right. I'm going to free draw this portion and it goes up 0 0.031. We do have a line that goes across the top. This line here, it's got a, in order to give us this flat, right, it's saying that the top of this is 0.25. So again, we're working with half of it, so I'm going to type in 0.125. Right, notice I'm keeping this rounded, this gap here to the end. Uh, this line here I free drew, so I need to come back now and enter a dimension. From here to this line, or this point, doesn't matter, is going to be half of 0.422. Right, so I can pull up my calculator, 0.422 divided by 2. So this number, half of this, Again, because we're only drawing half of it and then we're going to revolve it, half of it, so it should be 0.211. Right? Now I can put this arc in there. I'm just going to use my three point arc from here to here. Right? I want to aim it towards my object. I'll come back with my dimension tool and it says I have a spherical radius of 0.236. So I'm just going to put a dimension in here, 0.236 and that gives me that nice smooth arc. Hit finish sketch, click on my revolve tool, click on this inside edge, and hit OK. A um, Couple other things, first off this bottom here, it's got a chamfer which means we're chopping off or angling that bottom end. So I'm going to rotate so I can see that bottom end. I'm going to click chamfer. This is written as a degree and a distance, so I flip through these. Right, this is a, d a degree and a distance. We want that middle option. My distance is 0 0.03. My angle or degree is 45. So I click my bottom, click that edge, hit apply, and hit cancel. And that gives us that chamfered edge. On top, I have a hexagon that is 530 seconds across. So I'm going to do a new sketch on top. I'm going to use my polygon tool. It's a one, two, three, four, five, six sided. Draw a polygon in there. Don't let it snap to anything else, right? That'll add constraints. So I'm simply going to draw it in there. Now use my dimension tool. It says 530 seconds across flats. What that means is flat to flat. It doesn't matter which sides you do, as long as you do the opposites of each other. 5, 30 seconds, hit OK. Hit finish sketch, click on extrude, and I'm removing, right, this is being cut out, it says cut out 0.111 deep. So where it says distance, I'll type in 0.111 and hit OK. There is my bolt. The last thing we need to do, it says a quarter inch 20 UNC, that means that it's threaded. So I'll go up to my top and click thread and click on my surface. Notice that because I did already create it at half an inch, it's automatically determining that we want a quarter inch 20 UNC, and I'll hit OK. That is the axle bolt for the mini train. Thank you.